Dark is a original screenplay written by myself and Aaron Remel. Uh, it's an adventure comedy set in a the world of live action role playing. I'm Connor Rickman. I'm the uh, producer for LARP. We're going to produce it under the banner of our new production company, Ex Machina Films, and it begins with a prophecy. <laughs> The dark is passing. I go at last to light, for death has come for me tonight. You who linger, heed this foretelling. Somewhere, a hero's heart is swelling with a vision. Though he does not think there are any, he has power to bring strength to many. The nations were broken. Now the end begins. Find the one to unite them again. Seek the one. Preston is, he's an MFA student, a writer, um, but he's really in a bad place. He's lost his confidence, he's lost his inspiration, he's become very cynical. The world is just kind of beating him back. His classmates are very critical, his teacher is very critical, and uh, as a result he has lost a lot of his confidence and for some reason just can't seem to get his story ideas flowing again. Preston has a roommate named Porter, who's a martial artist. Yeah, shit. Porter really isn't helping situations much these days. Seriously? He's a bit of a prick. If you were a burglar or a rapist, dude, you'd be so dead. <laughs> you wouldn't even know, man. Are you still tutoring that dork? Yeah. Preston is Leon's tutor. Uh, Leon is also a writer, although he's not nearly as disciplined as Preston. Um, not really very good at it. But unlike Preston, uh, he does not censor himself, he's very imaginative. As a result, he's a little bit kind of socially awkward in his own skin. So when an idea just hits you, like a brilliant, awesome, really good, great, awesome idea, you just, you go with it, right? Yeah. Of course, yeah. But look, ideas, really good ideas are, are like liquid. Like an elixir? Leon idolizes Preston, um, considers him a friend, feels a special kinship with him as a storyteller. Uh, but these are not feelings that Preston necessarily reciprocates. I kind of feel bad for the guy. Is he any good? No. Isn't this that guy that showed up that one time wearing a cape? It was a cloak. And to be fair, it was raining. I did everything you said. I, I'm just not very good at this. You've got the passion and you've got the tools. You just have to unite them. Unite them. Leon is also a hardcore LARPer and fervently believes Preston to be the hero spoken of in the prophecy. So through an odd and hilarious series of events, Preston finds himself pulled into this, this fantasy world, this world of crumbling kingdoms and warring tribes and heroes and villains and allies. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he might find cliche, but also the type of stuff that, that really he's, he's trying to find in himself. So what then? Return the ring to the fires of Mount Doom? Destroy the Horcrux? Bring balance to the force? Follow the yellow brick road and live happily ever after? Shh! Great. Kill them all. Preston deals with this ambush by reacting as best he can and actually defeats his attacker. Right after that, something changes in his brain and we see that his imagination has started to take over. Of course, 
reality always catches up with you and you have to confront it. Dude. What the shit are you wearing? Uh, uh, you were playing make-believe with that reject. It's not a make... It's, it's like Game of Thrones. You like Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones has boobs in it. Does what you're doing have boobs in it? Here. I'm going to bed. You're a dick. All right, I'll go. Porter still has that air of uh, being being a little bit difficult and uh, normally is in a position where he can uh, bend the rules just a little bit to his advantage. Ow! 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 Asshole! I'm dead! Oh, ow! 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 Bitch! I'd like to get the key to her chastity belt. Yeah. I hate those things. We see a lot of Preston's relationship with Porter deteriorate in the film, um, but also it goes through a period of redemption. One of the things that's got people really excited about this script is uh, the characters, how varied and how different and, and fun and exciting they are, which makes perfect sense in a world like this, uh, because we've got the fun dynamic of reality versus fantasy, who these characters really are, and then how they view themselves and maybe what they, they wish they were. This movie uh, follows a LARP that happens over the course of several days. It is a large story. What I think the story is, is really about is commitment. Preston's biggest problem is he's not committed to anything. He doesn't love anything. But if he can commit to this new world, if he can get over his judgments and his cynicism and his self-doubt and really invest himself, he might just be able to find everything he's looking for. Preston! The story isn't over yet. I can't finish it. All rebels die! That's not fair! Is it too cliché? Some things are cliché for a reason.